Welcome, Cancer. Welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. Um, I, my channel is new, so if you would subscribe and hit the bell, that would be awesome. Also, like, comment, share, all of that would be great. I'm also an author, uh, so if you want to check out my books, I have links to purchase my books on my wall here on, on uh, YouTube, as well as links for the uh, trailers that I made for each of those books. Okay, so uh, this is your reading for the week of July 24th through the 31st. This is the Celtic Cross spread, and um, I read them a little differently than others, so I will explain as I go. The first card that we read for you this week, Cancer, is fire energy, okay? Possibly a Leo going on here. This is Valor, okay? This is the Seven of Wands. Um, fire energy is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is standing up for your beliefs, okay? Standing up for yourself in the face of all oppositions against all odds. This this is... Um, this is you just standing up for yourself, okay? And this is fully upright, okay? So this energy is saying that uh, I think that's what you're doing right now. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome energy. Now, the energies that are directly affecting that is another ones, okay? Now, this is the ten of ones. This is... This says oppression. This is when you've, you've got too many projects, too many responsibilities or duties. You're feeling overburdened. You've been carrying around a lot right now, okay? But the good thing about this card is that it, it is a 10. It's, this is almost over, okay? The ending to this, having to stand up for yourself and all this oppression is, is over, Okay, once we have the, the 10, we go right back to the one, which is the ace. And the ace of wands is a new beginning. Okay, so the next card that we read is at the root of everything for you this week, Cancer. And this is an energy that has not been fully manifested yet. And this is the eight, the eight of swords. There's Gemini here, but swords is air energy, which is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be any of those. This is something stopping you, something that is trying to hold you back. Okay, but look, since it's not fully manifested yet, um, it, it could be something you're worried about. This is, since this is air energy right here, you may be being held back by some sort of idea that you have. Um, or, uh, of course it could be, you know, an air sign, a Gemini or a Libra or an Aquarius, but because it's upside down, I'm thinking since this isn't fully manifested, uh, and it's at the root of everything, I'm thinking that this, this might have something to do with your ideas. Uh, it could be you. And the advice for this card is don't succumb to self-defeating attitudes. That's when your possibilities die. The next card that we read is another sword energy, which is awesome. This is the Ace, the Ace of Swords. And this did not fully manifest. This is the card of the energy that is moving out of your life. And this is, um, now all Aces are new beginnings, okay? This is strength through trouble. This is cutting away the crap for clarity. This is also a victory card, okay? This is, um, this is the application of your mental uh, capability, okay? And so um, I'm thinking that this is saying that, yeah, this is this is more of a victory that, that did not manifest, and it has something to do with uh, maybe what you're thinking, and, it, and maybe you're just feeling just so overburdened that you, that you're feeling, I don't know, that, it, you know, you've been having to stick up for yourself, Okay, and there's something that's just been burdening you. And it could be that's the interference. Your mind is just not in the right place. And so your new beginning, just your clarity of mind, your victory. Um, you're, I think that because this is mental energy, you're thinking that it's not coming. Okay. But fear not, Cancer. 
because the next cards that we have are future cards. Now, this is a more immediate future, whereas this is going to happen a little later on. This will happen after this one. This one happens after this one, but we read this one first. And you have the best, happiest card in the deck, Cancer. Now, it's upside down right now, and so what that is, is it's manifesting. This is trying to manifest into your life. This is happiness. This is everything that you ever wanted. This is your life going the way that you want it to go. This is just complete joy. This, this is everything you ever wanted. This is glory, gain, this triumph. Okay? So even though this, this triumph is on its way out, okay, the divine is telling you through this minor arcana card that you are mentally letting go of your victory it's telling you with this major arcana card, this divine energy, that you will have a victory and you will be happy. It's trying to manifest. It is there. Okay, now I think this is how you're going to get to this happiness. The next card that we read is another future card. Okay, and this is the Fool. Now he also hasn't manifested yet. And what he is, is a leap of faith. This is the divine telling you, have faith in me. Okay, this is zero. Start from the beginning. Look at the beginning. Okay, and it's going to bring all the abundance, everything that you've ever wanted. Look at all the things that are in there. We've got things like butterflies and a, and a dove and a, and a tiger. And we have the sun right there. We've, we Look at how his face is. He looks very happy. He's got all the power of the wands. He's got water. He, he's got discs. He, he's green for love. Everything that you've ever desired, which is in this card, if you just take that leap of faith, believe in yourself, believe in the divine, flip this card and take that leap of faith, the sun will come into your life and your victory will return in a very divine way now when i get these divine cards this means this is something that is meant for you cancer this is something that is part of your divine blueprint okay and what that is is the reason you came here the reason you uh, decided to be a human being and live on the earth is is all part of that's why to be this happy, to take this leap of faith and regain your victory, okay? And standing up for yourself, let me tell you, Cancer, when you stand up for yourself, you have to understand that you're a piece of the divine. There is divinity within you. And when you stand up for yourself, you are also standing up for the divine. Now, I know it feels very burdensome right now, but it's going to end, okay? And here's your hopes, you, your divine self. This is the major arcana card for cancer. This is the chariot. This is victory, again, victory. Three victory cards, okay? One that says you you feel like you've lost your victory. They, the, the divine said it through the, the, the swords, which is mental energy. You might be thinking the wrong things. You, I think that your mental, this is also logic. Your logic might be holding you back. It's your logic that might be interfering. And it's, it's that mental energy that is making, that made your victory not come into being. But it's meant for you. It is meant for you. It is you. You are victory. This is your card. This is divine victory. Okay? And I'm being shown this, this disc right here. And to me, that's the ace of discs. And the ace of discs is the divine seed for life here on this planet. Discs are earth energy. And while this is a divine uh, card, that's what I'm being shown. You can find your victory by being in control of all aspects of you. And charge forward and be who you were meant to be. 
And this is an excellent hope card to have. This is your hopes to be yourself, to be in control, to have victory. And the divine is telling you, please keep going because this is you. This is what you are meant to be. This is what you are. The next card that we read is your environment. And this is earth energy. Now I know why they were showing me this disc. This is the aid of discs. This is prudence. You're being prudent. You're watching your money and you may currently be learning a new skill. You may have just realized that you have a new talent. This is when you become the learner, an apprentice, a student. Be a student of yourself. Be a student of what you are thinking about, a student of where your logic comes from, and continue to be prudent in your life to gain and keep control of where you're going. Now, the next card that you have is your fear card. And this is the devil card. This could be a Capricorn. But to me, it's saying, look, this isn't going to happen. It's upside down. This is trying to manifest. This is um, toxicity. This is you being bound to something that weighs you down. This is, um, you know, all the, all the things in life that make us unhappy. And while this might be trying to manifest here with your mental interference, I'm, I think that as a fear card being shown upside down, this is also a major arcana card. The divine is telling you this isn't going to happen. Okay. I mean, unless it's a Capricorn coming into your life and you don't want them in your life or something that could be different, but this is an energy that isn't going to happen for you. Okay, don't worry. The divine is saying that, you know, look, because whenever you've got the sun card in your reading, it, it trumps everything else. It makes this devil ineffective. It, that's why he's upside down. Okay. Wow. That's so awesome, Cancer. And so now this is the card for your outcome for this week, Cancer. And this is an energy that is not fully manifested, that is trying, it is a possibility currently. And this is the Two of Swords. Now again, sword energy is mental energy, logic. But this is saying, uh, this you could be of two minds of something. There may be a decision that you have to make. It's commonly called the crossroads. And this, there could even be a Libra involved here. Um, yes, this is air energy, Libra, uh, Gemini, Aquarius, but this is a decision that you are going to have to make. It has not quite manifested yet, so you don't know what it's going to be yet, but it's coming. It could be the decision to stop interfering with yourself by, by using only logic. You, you cannot use only logic, um, to make decisions to move yourself forward in, in your divine energy, you have to use emotion, okay? So this is a crossroads. This is a decision you're going to have to make. And the advice for this card is don't take too long. If you have a decision to make, hurry up. Not, not hurry, hurry. But it, this decision must be made for you to move forward. And so the underlying energy uh, that we're getting for you here is at the bottom of the deck, Cancer. This is another divine card. This could be an Aries, of course, because this is the, the major arcana card for Aries. But to me, this is you being in control. You being in control. Do you see how this knight has control of these four sphinxes? Okay? To me, that's like earth, air, fire, and water all the elements with at the center is the is spirit so this is saying what you need is to gain control over your divine self do you see what i'm saying 
to be yourself. You will be in control and you will be the emperor. And it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. The emperor energy is, is being in control of you. Okay? Everybody wants to be in control of themselves. Now, how much control do you have over this whole thing for this week, Cancer? That I determined that um, by the amount of major arcana cards to minor arcana cards, okay? And so, let's look at them. You've got one, and this is the best one, two, three, four. So, four out of ten cards, you have most of the control over what is going on with this for you this week, Cancer. And underlying, you have yet another. Which means that the Divine is asking you to be in control of your divinity. Because once you give divinity control in your life, with it, when you listen to the Divine, which is you, then you will be in full control the divine blesses our life when we listen to it. And that's when we have the fullest victory available to us. And that is when we become very happy. And reaching and, and allowing the divine to take over in life is usually this leap of faith. Have faith in the divine, no matter what you call it, spirit, God, source, trust Trust in this energy, and you will be at your full potential and have the victory that you felt that you lost. That's what I have for you this week, Cancer. See you next time.